Welcome everyone in this uh, new week analysis. We are the 22 of May 2023 and this is a swing and day trading analysis. So let's start with odd USD. So we use smart money concept and volume at price to define the best level of support and resistance. And as we can see, so here we are on the daily chart. And as we can see, we have a serious zone of support and resistance here, right there. And then we have the same right there. So those are my two zones basically for buy and sell. The daily trend is up. So I would prefer the buy and uh, actually it seems it's coming quite quickly. We zoom on the forward chart and on the forward chart what we can see there is an order block right there plus an imbalance just above it. So the imbalance has been taken out already with one move right there. I would still expect the price to go back here and then I will have my buy. So if you want to know how we enter a trade, you can eventually join my mentorship or my group and everything is below this video. Now on the daily chart, we can also see that there is a nice, very strong impulse move going down. And on the weekly, I would expect some further move down as a target. So what I would expect basically is this level to reject and if this goes nicely, it will take eventually the liquidity here and we have a nice zone of support and resistance here plus an order block just above here. So same apply, we want eventually to sell maybe during mid midweek or end of the week depending on what happened today and tomorrow. We will go only through few pairs, so let's go with CAD Yen. CAD Yen, um, on the forward chart we have a huge rejection from nice level, this one is counter trend but it's a little bit with the weekly strong impulse moving down right there and the zone is around an extreme weekly zone of resistance which is also a support so this is a good zone from the volume at price as well the weekly candle touched the level and failed to break it the daily candle did the same on Thursday and there was a trade on Friday the 4-hour chart is printing a nice bearish angle thing there, so I would be tempted to sell for today. On the 15 minute chart there is another block right here, which might be my zone of interest for entry, and eventually if it would break above that, I would check this one as well. I will take this with a confirmation, 15 minutes or 5 minutes, we will see, depending on the time of the day when it will reach either the beginning of London or the beginning of New York session for the kill zone basically. On the daily chart we are in a nice daily uptrend, the bottom of the daily, the last swing low is here, the last swing high is here, so around the 50% retracement there is a nice level of support and resistance plus an order block right there with a little bit of imbalance here. So this will be a nice zone for a buy eventually, eventually the first target, if the sell panned out this will be my target right there and that's pretty it so let's move with gold so gold what happened I analyzed this a bit last weeks ago but basically we have these spikes right there that spiked the all-time high with a double top took the liquidity and after what price did it went directly to the other pool of liquidity which was here then after taking this pool of liquidity if we look a little bit on the left we will see below that there was this nice untapped order block and we had a nice rejection from there this was a winning trade from friday and friday printed a huge bullish angle fin candle right there so while the trend the daily trend really changed i would expect to sell and my first zone will be around here and if this one would fail i would go all the way here for a sell opportunity and if price would continue in this specific trend i would eventually have a level for a buy here which is a weekly level of support and same we will go on to lower time frame for the entry and a specific confirmation pattern and filters to avoid the losses um, in the group so this is for silver uh, gold silver is a bit the same uh, euro usd it's a little bit the same the trend is cleanly down we had a nice relation from our level this was a winning trade from friday 
I would expect the price to continue to rise eventually and then there is a sell here happening the same level of Friday printed an imbalance on the 4 hour chart so I would eventually expect this level to work again because it's a very strong weekly level of support and resistance let's check Euro New Zealand so Euro New Zealand there was some fake out last week we have eventually a market maker manipulation one level of drop one range second level of drop second range third level of drop and that's where we expect the turning point to happen if we look at the daily chart the daily made a beautiful impulse move right here so I was expecting like everyone else a buy inside this range but it took out the low and now eventually making a pattern for reversal if we look at the volume at price we can see there is a huge zone of support and resistance right there so I would expect the, the market to show me a nice sign of rejection this is a 15 minute chart we have another block created on Friday right there so I would expect the price to retouch this zone and show me a change in trend on 50 minute chart and then eventually I would be ready for entry. I would eventually expect the price to go a little bit lower because the zone of support and resistance is below that. Okay. So we might see a fake out and it's just Monday. So be cautious about that. GPUSD it's quite far but the weekly trend is still up. The candlestick going up are very weak. See, this is the uptrend, it's quite weak. And we have a huge candle rejecting two weeks ago, and it seems it's going to go down. So I have a level for a buy, a strong level of support and resistance here, plus some EMA 20 and 50 from the weekly chart. There is a lot of liquidity resting above this zone. So this zone looks like a good zone. There is a 200 EMA from the weekly just below that. So this zone will be likely a good zone for a buy. Then on the sell side, there is a nice beautiful daily candle right here with a huge departure from the zone. The order block is above, so this daily order block, order block might give us a nice opportunity for a sell as well. So this is it for GBP USD. On the forward chart, well, the order block is on the lower time frame than that. One hour right here, that's my level. There is liquidity just below it, so it looks fine. And on the bottom there is liquidity as well here on the left side. So these those two zones for buy and sell looks proper. We'll check New Zealand yen. I have a trade on on this one. So the trade is at the order block that made the high right here. There is five reward to, to be taken there. Um, this level I place an automatic trade. Why is that? Because there is an order block right here on the daily and a very very huge departure from the zone this is 500 pips in this specific move in one day so i would expect the price to make eventually even just half of it and this is enough to make me five five reward and a lot of profit then what we can see is as well the candlestick from friday touch our zone and rejected it very significantly and as we could see on the 15 minute chart there is an order block as well and a strong departure a strong imbalance there so enough confirmation for me to make me enter automatically on this trade but there is still the risk that the price will uh, try to take out the high of friday so i will see if i lose my entry this is my only trade of the day if i lose this one and if i see a fake out like taking the liquidity of this la this high right there and then after that price making a change in character then there will be a chance for entry there here we go now USD CHF, well this one if we look at the daily, let me show you, there was a pool of liquidity here, like a triple top, and then price took this liquidity and reverse from it, heading down. So next liquidity that might be targeted is the bottom right here, because we are in a weekly downtrend, so it might go to the bottom and eventually reject up. Those are the two level. I keep the level from Friday because we have an an order block sitting there. We have a, a rally, a base and a drop. There is an imbalance between here and here. So this order block makes sense for a sell and this will be eventually a trade for this beginning of the week. USD Mexican Peso, I go over this one because it's quite beautiful. We have a strong level of support and resistance from the weekly, monthly right there 
and then we have another block taking the liquidity followed by two weekly down candle and now price is coming back to the zone so this zone makes sense there is a huge round number just above it USD MXN is quite liquid a lot of money is invested between the US and Mexican peso and there is a 200 EMA from the forward chart as well as a confluence order block forward chart taking the liquidity and then imbalance from here to here so all criteria met we wait for a confirmation here and after we want to sell and maybe the round number might be a healthy target which is a lot of reward there let's check S&P 500 so S&P finally broke out of the range there was a range during like more than a week and it broke up so what I would like to do right now zooming on the forward chart is to buy and my zone for a buy is the bottom zone right here I'm not interested into this zone because the liquidity has been taken out already and we have a strong bearish angle thing on top so this zone right here with the 200 EMA seems proper zone for a buy on S&P 500 so that's it for the free analysis of this week if you want to follow the signal they are free still on telegram um, taking the entry of those specific levels uh, there is also screenshots when the um, an alert when the price will reach those level on telegram all for free um, the link will be below this video and other services eventually i wish you success in trading for this week and I'll see you next week bye everyone